I'm Dr Natasha Devere, Head of Science at the National Botanic Garden of Wales. We have an exciting new publication out in the journal Communications Biology where we look at honeybees as historians. So we have tracked uh, plants used by honeybees by analysing honey samples using DNA barcoding. We've looked at that for 441 honey samples in 2017 and compared that to what honeybees were up to in 1952. So we show changes in the landscape over this time. We show how pastures which were full of white clover have now decreased. So honeybees instead have to use brambles rather than white clover, which is an important honey source. We show the spread of invasive species, Himalayan balsam, from first appearing from Victorian gardeners. It increased, it now rampages across the countryside and is an important plant now for honeybees. And it appears more in the honey over time. And finally, we show the emergence of a new crop grown within the UK. Oilseed rape was first grown in the 1960s within the UK and now it's an abundant plant with uh, spring fields full of yellow flowers, particularly in the east of the UK. The honeybees now use it as a major source of forage as well. So our honeybees tell the story of the changes within our landscape and also give us some clues of what we can do to improve that. What honeybees would like us to do is we need to have uh, pastures full of wild flowers. Honeybees love white clover. We need brambly margins that they can use bramble flowers later in the year. And we need in the early spring lots of flowering trees and cherries for our honeybees to use.